Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make chocolate eclairs. And this is a chocolate eclair. As you can see, it's got a nice crisp pastry shell that's filled with pastry cream and then topped with a chocolate glaze. Now we're going to start by making shoe pastry. So preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 degrees Celsius. And then this is a little unusual pastry in that we're going to cook it first and then bake it. So just in a medium saucepan, put a half a cup, that's 120 milliliters of water, along with four tablespoons, 55 grams of butter. Have it at room temperature and, and cut it into small pieces so it will melt faster. And then I'm just going to put this over you know, medium high heat and we're going to bring it just to a boil. Stir it every so often. You want the butter to melt before the water boils because we don't want a lot of evaporation here. So, so while that's cooking in a uh, small bowl, place a half a cup, that's 65 grams of all-purpose flour, you may know that as plain flour, and to that, just add a half a teaspoon of granulated white sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And just whisk that together. Okay, and then we'll just bring that to a boil. Okay, it's at a boil, so just take it off the heat and then add your flour mixture all at once. And then you can use either just a wooden spoon or I'm using a heat proof spatula, just stir that in. It's gonna look awful lumpy and a bit of a mess, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So now what we're gonna do is just put it back onto the heat. I would say like medium low and then stir it constantly what we want is to just form a smooth ball of dough. And you know it's ready because there will be a thin coating of flour on the sides and bottom of your saucepan. And that's, and you know, we just want the flour to cook a little and a little evaporation of the water. So just keep stirring it. As you can see, it's nice smooth and then you, you can see it's starting to stick so that's when I know it's done pretty simple okay just turn that off so now what we, we're going to add some egg but this is a little hot right now so what I'm going to do and if you have an electric stand mixer like I have here use your paddle attachment or you could just use a hand mixer or really you can just do this pastry by hand. What I'm going to do is just beat it on low speed just to cool it down, release the steam, and just till it's lukewarm. That will take maybe a minute, two minutes. So you could easily do this by hand. Okay, I've kind of felt the sides of the bowl. It's not hot anymore. So. I'm just going to just feel it. And it's lukewarm, so we're ready to go. This is just what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is add two large eggs. So in a separate bowl, have them at your eggs at room temperature and then just lightly beat them. You can I'm using a wire whisk. You could just use a fork for this. And what we're going to do is gradually add the beaten egg. You don't want to add it all at once. Because with this pastry, it has to be at the right consistency. So we may not need all of our egg. We want it to be like a really thick paste. So I'm going to add most of it, but not all of it. Now I'm going to have my mixer running about medium speed. Gradually add the egg. Now your pastry will come apart and look kind of curdled. And lumpy, don't worry, that's the way it's supposed to. Just keep beating and it'll smooth out.
just going to scrape. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. See, it's kind of all curdled. That's very normal. Don't worry about it. Just keep beating. See, it's starting to form a nice paste. I'm just going to beat it a little more and then check it to see if I need to add all of the egg. Okay. So here we are. We want it a little thinner than that. So I'm going to add the rest of the egg. Okay. One more check here. I think it looks good. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Nice kind of hangs on the spatula and then falls off in a thick ribbon. So that's what you're looking for. Okay, pretty easy uh, pastry. Once you get the hang of it, it's very simple. So now we're gonna pipe the um, shells that we need. So I have a pastry bag. Just fit it with a plain tip. I mean, if you didn't have a plain tip, you could just, if you're using a disposable uh, pastry bag like this, you just cut the end off. You don't act really, with a plain tip, you don't actually need that. So I'm just going to fold that back and put Because I want, we're going to have to pipe long lines for the eclairs, and I like to make them all the same size. So I made a template. So just take a piece of parchment paper, and I just drew this amount of pastry will make 12 eclairs. So I made 12 lines. I'm making these about three and a half inches long, which is eight and a half centimeters. So do that, and then put that down and then put your piece of parchment over top and then you can kind of use that as a guide. If you're really good then you probably don't even need that. Now I'm going to pipe the, uh, you want it about three quarters of an inch wide which is about two centimeters. And have your bag at about a 45 degree angle when you're piping. Even pressure and then just so I told that, it's like so. And then we come to the end, just stop and go back. Okay. Now, I'm only going to get 11 because I must have, I piped them a little wider than three quarters. So, not that it matters really. So now, I like to brush the, um, the shells, the dough, with a little egg wash before I, just beaten egg actually, before I put them in the oven. And what that does is one, we'll get nice browning of the uh, shells. And two, I can use the brush to smooth out any imperfections in my piping. And then, so I'll just, nice light coating. And there we go. So now, into the oven. So we're going to bake them for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. 
And then we're going to drop the temperature down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius, for somewhere around 25 minutes. So the 15, for the first, we're baking them at a high temperature, and that will get quick rise of the pastry, and then the shell will form, and then we're dropping the temperature down, and then that will dry out the inside. So what you're looking for at the end, nice golden color, and... If you break one in half, it will be dry and almost dry inside. Okay, shells, I think they're done, but what I'm going to do, just to show you, I'm going to take one and just break in half because that's really the best way you can tell. Okay, so as you see there's a little bit of moist batter still inside, just a little. So really that'll be fine. I'll, I could just let them sit on the uh, cool like this. If there was a lot of, of wet batter, what you can do is just take a toothpick or a skewer, put a couple holes in the bottom and then put your baking sheet back into the oven. Turn your oven off and leave the uh, door ajar and just let them cool in the oven, cool down, and then that way they'll dry out a little more. So um, when we come back, I will make the pastry cream. So now we'll make our pastry cream. So in a heat proof bowl, have three large egg yolks and have those at room temperature. And then whisk in a quarter of a cup, 50 grams of granulated white sugar. Make a paste, and then over top you want to add just a pinch, like an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm using the kosher. And then we need a thickener for the pastry cream. So I'm adding two tablespoons, that's about 20 grams of all-purpose flour. You may know that as plain flour, and I'm just going to sift that over the top. Along with a scant uh, two tablespoons, about 15 grams of cornstarch. You may know that as corn flour. So I'm sifting just in case there's any lumps. And then just whisk that in. And then, meanwhile, I have warmed one and a quarter cups, which is 300 milliliters of milk. I used a whole milk because I want a nice, rich, flavored pastry cream. I have used like a reduced fat 2%. Of course, your, cream, your pastry cream won't be as rich tasting. So just bring your milk just almost to the point where it's about to foam up. And then we're going to whisk it in. Keep whisking because you don't want to uh, cook your eggs. Now, if you did happen to get some curdling of your eggs, just strain your, mix, your uh, mixture before we cook it. Don't worry about it. Okay, pretty easy there. So now, we've got to cook it a bit. So we don't want a flour taste to our cream. So just pour it into a saucepan. Now you will have to whisk this constantly as it's cooking because again, we don't want to cook our eggs. So just over uh, medium heat. We want to bring it up to a boil, whisking constantly. Okay, I can start to, as I whisk, it's starting to get thick. So, and it will get a little lumpy, don't worry about that. Just keep really stirring, adjust your heat if you need to. And what we're going to do is just keep whisking until it gets quite thick, you know, maybe 30 seconds. Probably no more than a minute, depending on your heat. So you can see it's starting to thin out. Not so lumpy, so just, you know, your arm gets a little exercise here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Nice and thick. Okay. You want to cook that flour so you don't have that flour taste. That's why we have to do this. So. 
I'm happy with that. Move. So now I'm going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. If you wanted, you could add, you know, a splash of your favorite liqueur. You could also, if you wanted to make this a chocolate pastry cream, at this point, just uh, fold in two ounces, 55 grams of finely chopped, either semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate. So that's our pastry creams. I'm just going to pour it into. Now, of course, we have to let this cool down. And actually, most of the time, I make my pastry cream the day before. So then I don't have to do everything the day I'm making my eclairs. Because what we need to do is cover this, let it cool to room temperature, and then um, put it in the fridge for a couple hours until it gets really firm. So that's why I usually make it the day before. So there. So when we come back, we will make the chocolate glaze and then assemble our eclairs. So now for our chocolate glaze. In a heat proof bowl, put two ounces, that's 55 grams, of finely chopped either a semi-sweet or a bittersweet chocolate, and then pour over top a quarter of a cup, 60 milliliters, of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, or you, cream with a 35 to 40 percent butterfat content, and heat it to when it, really hot till it almost starts to um, foam up. And then we're just going to, so essentially we're making a ganache. But what I'm going to do, because if you don't eat the eclairs right away, they have to be refrigerated. And we want to keep our uh, chocolate glaze nice and shiny and soft. So what I'm going to do is add a one and a half teaspoons of light corn syrup. You could use a golden syrup a liquid glucose, or you could probably even use a honey, a mild flavored honey. Just want to, uh, something so that, keep that chocolate soft in the fridge. And then I'm also going to add just a little flavoring, a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. So essentially that's our chocolate glaze. So once you have that, then your pastry cream. Now I made my pastry cream yesterday, so when you take it out of the fridge, it's going to be like very solid. So you will have to take a whisk and really make it a little soft and get rid of any lumps. You can just use a wire whisk or your spatula. But you still, you want it cold because I'm going to pipe it. So it has to be quite firm. So I'm going to put it into a piping bag. I'm going to use a star tip for this just to make it a little fancy. You can just spoon it in. You don't have to uh, pipe it if you don't want to. Okay, so that's ready an assembly line here and then for you take your shoe pastry and with a sharp knife now some people I'm gonna cut mine in half I find it a lot easier you could just insert your your pastry tip into the sides or the bottom and and just squeeze the pastry cream into the um, eclair I find it much easier just to cut them in half now, if you had a little bit of wet dough, you could just, a little is fine, just take it out. So, there we have. I'm just going to take my pastry cream and just pipe it in. As much or as little as you want. I don't like too much cream. I find that's about right for me. And then, just take your top and just dip it into your chocolate and then just kind of hold it and let the excess drip off so there you have it and then you just put it right on top
top and you have your eclair. Now, if you're going to eat this, some people like to assemble their eclairs shortly before they eat them. And that way you, the, your shoe pastry is really quite crisp and um, that your chocolate will be quite sharp tasting. Personally, I like to assemble them at least a couple hours before because I, I like the chocolate to kind of soften in, in its flavor. And I actually like the uh, shoe pastry a little softer. You can actually store them for a couple days, but I'm going to try one anyway now. Oh, that's really nice. The nice crisp pastry. You've got the, cr the vanilla flavored cream and the chocolate. It's pretty good. So, until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.